Hi, my name is Amara Leigh-Zulek, and I work for Kensington Protective Products. I had a little bit of a journey coming to this company, and I did it for not that I needed a job, or that I needed, uh, or that it was just a fun place to work, or my interest, but um, there was a real reason that I'm here at Kensington, um, and a lot of it has to do with the name. It's not just Kensington, but it's Kensington Protective Products. So Kensington really does make products to protect the horse. They make products to protect the horse from flies. They make protective uh, products as well for, for hay bags, um, where the horse won't get hurt with them, and, um, fly masks that protect the horse's eyes. And so it became a good fit for me because I did something that where I was not protected and got injured. And as horse people, we always think of specific things to help us stay protected. One would be a helmet. That's going to protect you if you fall and hit your head. The other would be cowboy boots. We all wear cowboy boots around the horses in case a horse steps on us and hurts us then we use something that's tougher than tennis shoes that will help protect our feet. So today I want to introduce to you, if you don't already know, um, a product called Safety Tie. And the reason that I became involved with Safety Tie and brought it to Kensington was I was tying up a horse and I was a trainer. I've ridden barrel racing horses professionally. I've trained um, horses. I've had horses ever since I was five years old. So I have tied up a lot of horses. And of course, um, I did it with the knot that we've all been taught, with the quick release knot. So what happened was, I was tying the horse up. my thumb completely off um, and you know the horse was was pulling back he was rearing going forward rearing going forward and still caught in the rope and again um, it was it was severed um, I was taken to the hospital and um, I could just focus in on this picture or not but this great doctor Dr. Coleman um, you can see it here. He was able to reattach my finger, but since it was pulled tight and pulled off, they weren't able to save it or reattach it, like if they were if somebody chopped it off with a saw or something like that. So it just increases the danger of tying up a horse with a rope in that even if something happens, they cannot always fix it. And so it had to be amputated three different times because of the blood circulation. So as I was laying in bed with my finger and going through eight different surgeries, I thought to myself, probably won't give up horses because that's my passion. But I sure knew that I was never going to tie up a horse with a rope again. So I found safety ties. And you can see here. They were made by um, a group or designed by a group of veterinary technicians or veterinarians um, and then also uh, horse <coughs> um, massage therapist and muscular um, therapist in Australia and an engineer named Audras. <coughs> they were developed in Australia and so when I was looking searching for a way to tie up a horse or tether a horse um, that I thought would protect me from this ever happening again. I found um, the safety ties in Australia. And then he um, asked me to uh, 
have been distributed in the United States. And um, I started off and then connected with Kensington. And Kensington and I, we were a great fit because again, what does Kensington do? They make, they make and they distribute and they house you know horses to protect it. themselves um, in many different ways. But today we're focusing yes, on the safety true. time. So now I'd like to demonstrate how this works, how this helps me, and how this helps your horse and saves your property from damage. So now, When I go to tie up a horse, there's two ways I do it. One way is before I even catch the horse, I will tie my safety tie up to the lead rope. And again, that's a long thing for this demonstration. So I'll go ahead and I'll just tie the safety tie to the lead rope before I've even caught the horse. The nice thing about the safety ties is they're very lightweight. So I personally leave the safety ties on all of my lead ropes. And I have little grandkids that um, They use lead ropes that have safety ties tied onto them. So then when they need to tether the horse, they just tie the horse up. We have a question. Yes. Um, Anthony from Miami wants to know what the safety ties are made out of. That's a great question. Because a lot of people think that they're just plastic. You could go on YouTube and there's a veterinarian that... Um, endorses this and he calls it a plastic top. It is not plastic. It is made of a special urethane mold so that it will get brittle like plastic and it will stay um, stay together, hold up well in heat and even in severe cold. So it is not plastic. It is made out of a um, polyurethane. So again, once I have the horse tight, um, the safety tie tied to my lead rope. I can lead the horse, I can knock it around, it's not gonna hurt me, it's not gonna hurt the horse. I can bring the horse to wherever I want it to be tethered at, and then I just attach it to the tie off its way. And if the horse were to pull back in a panic, the rope would I wouldn't be involved with the rope at all. And this would break way. So now the horse is tied up. If something were to happen, if the horse were to spook um, and pull back in a panic, then the safety tie would release. What happens is this part would open up and would open up and it would come apart. So you're saying it releases with tension? Yes, 180 pounds of pressure with some momentum. So if the horse were to like want to walk over and get some hay, it was just being naughty, kind of pulling back one way or the other, it would hold the horse. But it is designed to release um, before somebody gets hurt, before my finger falls off, before um, you know, something breaks, like something's gonna get, a lot of people will say, well, I don't want my horse to get loose. But if a horse is gonna pull back with that amount of pressure, something's gonna get. Um, this trainer has a pretty good sturdy tie-off. There's some trainers that can have little silver rings. Either that's gonna pull off, and then you'll have your um, trailer damage, or it'll pull back, and the um, halter will break, the horse will be loose, and then your, your nice, um, you know, halter that you spent the money on will no longer be of use. Or I've seen it where the clips have even broken. And if you're standing here, a horse pulls back and that clip comes and hits you in the face or hits your horse, you're going to get hurt that way. So it really does protect the horse, protects the person, and protects your property as well. 
another nice thing is if the horse did for some reason and then we've seen it happen get tangled up in the rope and if you have other all you have to do is like step back and with the pressure they would be released and they would be untangled as opposed to trying to come over here while the horse is in a panic and trying to get them untangled then that's a great reason to use it as well um, the horse were tethered in the trailer and they get a slip and fall in the trailer for any reason again it would not the horse would not get hung up in it um, it would release and the horse would be able to get um, free so that is that's how i use it that's why it's important to me but again a lot of it is with 180 pounds of pressure if they pull back it's more than that they've tested it then a lot of times a horse will flip over and can hit its head and injure himself that way. So again, we use these to protect people, the horse, and your property. And again, the way they, um, these are 100% um, guaranteed not to break. They bend, they can get stretched, they can get stepped on, and they all have a memory. So all you have to do is mold it back into shape, squeeze this, press it in, a little puzzle, and then they can go, be used over and over again. I love these safety ties because they are nice, lightweight, you can put them in your pocket, take them wherever you want to go. Um, I like it because if you do use them on the trailer, the horse banging around, flopping around, um, they won't scratch your trailer. All right, we've got a few more questions we're going to let you answer. Um, Jesse is asking, do safety ties have other uses like hanging buckets or any other uses around your ranch? Yes, they do. So one of the handiest things that I've found is it's a couple that are my favorite. One is when I'm leading my dog, I will put a safety tie on the lead rope, on the lead rope or on the leash, I should say. So I can lead my dog, it's really um, ergonomic or anyway, fits your hand, and then you can be walking your dog. But a lot of times I'll walk my dog and we stop at Starbucks and get something to eat or need to um, you know, sit down at a restaurant or something and, and tie him up. And so what I can do with, with this is instead of trying to figure out how I'm going to tie a dog up, pull it through here, or whatever, um, I can just simply take this, tie it up to the chair or to the table leg or wherever I'm sitting, and then sit down and enjoy my meal and be able to um, be on my way. The way that this works too is um, the horse has to pull it back and apart, um, but we as people, we're not strong enough to do that, so we snap it. The other um, use for it that's really come in handy is I do travel a lot with um, Kensington, and so I usually go with the roller, and I usually have a um, Instead of having to use both, it's super easy to just attach it to my rolling bag. And you can use two of them so it doesn't slip and slide. And away it goes. this I think is really important too is when I feed the horse either inside the trailer or I am at a show and want to eat outside the trailer I use the safety tie to hay the hay bag now he's eating if for some reason he starts pawing or gets his head caught in it or for any reason he gets hung up in the hay bag. And again, the safety tie will be able to release with
without him getting injured. And so that's another good way. You could hang in buckets, you can hang hay bags, you can uh, use it for your luggage, your dog, for um, any reason like that. Another thing too is some horses are very clever in that um, um, real quick before you get on this, we actually have a question is over on your little display on your um, banner over here, it shows that two are connected together and I think this is what you're getting into. So uh, get away, make sure you're paying attention to her answer right now. So there are some horses that are pretty clever and um, like I said, they have to pull back to release it. If you get it twisted, then sometimes they can um, get it undone. And so we always sell the safety ties in a two pack. One, because it's a great deal. And two, because if you do have a clever horse, what you can do is you can double them. So you would take it one and tie it like this or fasten it like this. And then the other way, when you would um, do it the opposite side. So thick side, yeah, let's use a green one so you can see. So thick side goes on a thin side, and a thin side goes on a thick side. And then you could attach the rope with, um, with the two, and then it'll make it even stronger for those horses that are kind of tricky. Another interesting thing about this is, um, the design is you will notice that there's little grooves in there. There's five grooves and those um, those are for the tension. So for a bigger horse you would use it full, full bore all the way, toughest tension. But if you had a young horse that you're working with or a mini that um, may not be able to, to break it away um, effectively, then that's this little horse, then you can put it on a lesser setting. Okay. For a smaller horse like this, while you're doing that, can I ask you a few more questions? Sure. Alrighty. Uh, Bex wants to know if they could be used on cross ties as well. Yes. Um, I think we have a picture here that um, we use for other cross ties. And I've seen horses in cross ties that sometimes they pull back or they rear up, they get their leg up over um, the rope, or they get themselves twisted around in different directions. So it is very useful on a cross tie to keep the horses safe there as well. So as you can see with this, if I have this little horse here, then I would put it on a lesser setting. And then it would release less than 180 pounds of pressure so that the horse would not get injured. All right, and how many colors do they come in? They come in all of these colors. So they come in, I use the green one kind of to show, make sure it shows up, but it does come in blue, so you can match with the blue attire. It comes in red, green, pink, and black as well. And again, this kind of shows you how they, they attach together, at least with the tension. And I'll show you another way that I use them. This is inside the trailer. Um, protective products feed bag that's designed to go in the trailer. But again, I've had all kinds of experiences with all kinds of different horses being a trainer. And I've seen horses that will paw and they'll get their foot caught in the feed bags or um, get themselves tangled up some way. And again, I love using the safety ties because if they do get tangled up in this, instead of it being hard tied and fastened, it will be able to release 
so the horse isn't sitting there all over the whole ride with his foot in the, in the bucket. So that's another good way to use them. And these are great. This is a great product that safety uh, that Kensington makes. It fits in the corner just perfectly. It has a, a neck in the bottom, so that's easy to clean. It doesn't get moldy. And it holds a good amount of hay. So when I travel, the horses can be done. And I, you can see here, I put this um, for a demonstration because I like to share another story that I had. Is, um, you know, I used to use these. These are the bungee cords that you um, tie your horse up with when you trailer. And I had my um, daughter in law, Cameron. She came in you know, to unbuckle her horse to get it out. He was tied with one of these. And she was pulling, pulling, pulling and she was trying to get up to release the tie and she was able to release it but when the horse had that much tension on it as soon as she released it it came flinging and um, just about hit her in the face and so you know these are great inventions but again it proved not to be what we needed in order to sit to stay safe so I always use a safety tie in my trailer. I attach the um, I'll attach the either lead rope or this quick release rope. And if a horse starts pulling back in a panic and is just being unreasonably uh, you know, in a real scary panic situation, the person could step back, you know that the safety tie is going to release, and then the horse can um, get out safely, can grab his rope. All right, so. I'm getting a really important question here. Where can we buy these? Get those, you can buy um, at any of our, you can buy these at any of our um, uh, dealers. Most of all of our dealers carry these. Um, riding Warehouse, Mary's Tack and Feed, um, Shorties in uh, Texas. Uh, they're also um, in, yeah, and at Kensington Protective Products, you can buy them through us. Um, in Norco, they're at Inland Vet, as well as um, Thrifty Horse, um, Western, uh, Winchester Western Saddlery. I um, just purchased a few as well. So um, yeah, we are fully stocked in most of your local tax stores. If not, ask them and we can get them to you as well. And then again, um, yep, they're through Kensington. All right, um, somebody has a question. Why would you use, or the specific question is from Elisa, and she said, what's the difference between this and baling twine? That's a very good question because one of the, Address the designer of it. Part of it was to replace baling twine. Baling twine, um, a lot of people use that because you can tie it up and with about the same amount of pressure, the baling twine will release. But um, Address was looking at that in Australia and said, Boy, this is tacky. Here you have this beautiful, nice trailer, and people have baling twine all over it. You know, he just thought it was tacky. And so he said, you know, we spend this, but you know, we spend money for things to look nice and be nice. And um, he just thought it would look better and serve the same purpose. And it's very, and these are very, very reasonable. Um, the pricing on these are like $12 for a two pack. Um, so that's like $6 for, um, you know, one of these, and like I said, Uh, yeah, and I'm sorry, I'm forgetting a couple things. My friend's helping me with it. So yeah, so for twelve dollars you get a pack of two, and they're reusable. You can use them over and over again. They look nice, um, and again, you don't get caught up in them. For example, if I um, and here's the main reason I don't use them instead of baling twine, because if I use baling twine, then again I have to have the baling twine 
tied up to my trailer, and then I have to take the lead rope and tie the lead rope to the baling twine. If the horse pulls back, chances of my fingers get caught in the rope will increase. If I use a safety tie, then I'm attaching it directly onto the part. If a horse pulls back, then it releases. I'm not tangled up in it. So that's my main reason why not to um, just use bailing twine, because you still have to get involved with a rope and a horse, and I personally will not do that ever again. <laughs> so. Just because we had some people popping in and out, can you remind us why you don't like to tie a horse that's attached to a rope? Can you just reiterate your story from the beginning? Sure. So again, um, and it's interesting, the reason I don't was when I was tying a horse up with a quick release knot, a horse pulled back and it severed my thumb. It wasn't it, they weren't able to put it back together, they weren't able to fix it, and, and it was a big ordeal. So I did never wanted to tie one off again. And it's amazing how many people I have met since I've done, you know, lost my thumb that have um, also as well the same way. And people may say, oh, my horse wouldn't do that, but a girl from San Luis Obispo, um, Cal Poly up at um, San Luis Obispo, she was a, um, on, on the rodeo circuit. She campaigned off her horse for years and years, knew that horse, they were the best team together. She said she was tying up her horse to the trailer, it pulled back and severed her thumb. Even though I'm demonstrating this in a trailer setting, um, I do want you to know I use them on the hitching post everywhere I go, they're not just for a trailer. Um, I also had another friend, um, her name is Connie, I have a picture of her out there. Um, she had a little horse that she had for 15 years, never had a problem. She tied, was tying the horse up and something spooked it. And again, she lost her, her finger. I was, um, right before I, me, when I went to the doctor's uh, hospital, another lady in Orange Park Acres, if you're familiar with that is, um, she had her horse in the wash rack, went to tie it up. Again, the horse pulled back, she lost her finger. And I was at a um, big horse expo and there was seven clinicians, and I believe it was Jonathan Fields. Um, we, were, we were going up talking to him just about his horses. I looked down, he looked at me, I looked at him, and he was like, you get caught in the rope tying a horse up? And I said, yes, and he said, so do I. And he is, you know, an expert in the field. So it could happen to me, it happened to my friend. I've met so many strangers, it's happened to and even the clinicians it's happened to. So I, um, the reason that I work for Kensington, my passion for working is um, I'm gonna make lemon, you know, lemons into lemonade and I want to help other people um, avoid this injury and I do believe um, the safety ties is a great way to do it. So thank you for listening, and I hope you guys get some, and stay protected, stay safe, and remember, use your helmet for your head, boots for your shoe, and safety ties for your fingers and hands, and horses and property. Thanks.